Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'll show you five simple but very effective text animations for your video. Let's go to editing. Let's create our first animation. We already in After Effects and to start off I'd like to mention that I leave this project below this video, so feel free to download and use it. First up we'll create a composition. I'll set it up as a 4K, but you can choose any resolution you like. Let's name it Title Animations. Choose text or press Ctrl T or Command T to enter your text. I'm using my own text, uh, but your text can be any length. Align it to the center and adjust the scale. For this animation, I'll use uh, one of my favorite fonts. It's called Neohas Grotesque. You can also decrease the tracking between letters to make it more interesting. Our text will appear word by word, so we will split our text into many words using the Decompose Text plugin which splits the overall text into many separate parts. You can do this manually, but this plugin is a time saver. Select words and press decompose. Now our text is uh, split into many parts. We need to organize it. Our original text is uh, preserved. Uh, turn on its visibility and reduce its opacity. Now just place the text in its proper places. Once everything is ready, delete the lower text lower. Go to the 15th frame and select all the text. Press P for position on the keyboard and create the keyframes. Go to the beginning and move our text down. Go again to the 15th frame, hold shift and press T for opacity. Set a keyframe. Go to the beginning and set the opacity to 0. Select all keyframes, press F9 on your keyboard for easy ease. Go to the graph editor and adjust the curve as I did. Then go to the first second, uh, press P for position and Shift plus T for opacity and set the keyframes. This will be our out text animations. Move forward on the timeline and simply rise our text up and set the opacity to 0. Select all keyframes, press F9 on the keyboard, go to the graph editor and set the curves uh, as I did. If your graph uh, view isn't like mine, go to graph type and choose speed graph. Now move each text lower to the right on the timeline to create a staircase appearance. I'll do this every 5 frames. Trim our composition, just press N on your keyboard to trim the composition. And there we have it, an insanely cool and effective animation, created in just a few seconds. Additionally, we will add a few more effects. It's not unnecessarily, but I'll show you how sometimes I make this animation option more interesting. Select all lawyers and pre-compose. Name it whatever you like, I'll call it Title 1. Duplicate the text. For the lower text lower, add a fill effect. Choose red color. Next, add the Gaussian blur effect. We will create a halation effect for the text. Increase blurness to about 18 or 19. Copy the effects and paste them onto the upper text lower. Change the color to a soft yellow. Also reduce blurness, set it about 3. Create a new adjustment lower. Look for the posterize time effect and edit. Set the frame rate to 12. And our first text animation is ready. I leave this project below this video so you can customize and view the animation. Let's create a second animation. Create a new adjustment lawyer. I will use the same settings and 4K resolution. Create a text. I will write new text animations. I will also put a double space between the words, position it at the center and also increase the size. Go into the text lawyer, next animate and add opacity. Set opacity to 0. Go to the reg selector, set the first keyframe for offset at the beginning. Go to the 15th frame and set the offset to 100. Go to advanced, instead of characters set to words. Select all keyframes, press F9 on the keyboard for easy ease. 
Then again go into animate and add opacity. Uh, go to add and add blur. Set opacity to 0 and blur to 20. Go to the range selector, set the first keyframe for offset and set it to uh, minus 100. This will be our out animation for the text. Go to the 2 second and set uh, the offset to 0. Go to advanced and change from character to words. Again trim our composition. Create a new adjustment layer and create a mask using the pen tool. The mask can be various shapes and sizes. Add a Gaussian blur effect. Increase the blurness and ensure you remove repeat edges. Go to mask settings and increase mask feather. Add another mask for the adjustment lower and also in the mask settings increase mask feather. Select all layers and pre-compose it. Then create a new adjustment lower. Find the transform effect and edit. Set the first keyframe for scale at the beginning, go to the end and increase. Select all keyframes and press F9 on the keyboard. Go to the graph editor and set it uh, like mine. Click on the stopwatch near scale with the Alt or Option if you unmark and write this expression. Create a new adjustment lower and add the transform effect. Click on the stopwatch near position with Alt or Option and write this expression for a shake effect. This is a cool and effective text animation, I also like the blur effect on the text edges. Let's go to the third animation. Create a new composition, I will also use 4K. For this animation I will use my own text, but it can be of various sizes and length. Aligned it centrally, I want our text to appear individually like each word. So using the decompose text plugin. I'll split the text as we did for the first animation. Also, I'll position it uh, correctly. When we are done with the positioning of the text, create a null object. Select all our text and attach it to the null object. This way, we can move all our text lawyers using just one null object. But you can also move each text individually. I'll use the proportional grid to assist. I love syncing this text animation with my speech and videos, but today I'll just make the animation and then can adjust the length of the text and the start of each word's appearance. Press P for position and set the first keyframe. In this animation it's very important that the text is always centered. Then go a few frames forward and around here between the first and second text layers, set the second keyframe and move the null object and set the text centrally. Then when our text layer starts, copy the previous keyframe and paste it. Go a few frames forward and again position all the text centrally. And do this for each layer. It's very important for this animation that the focus is always in the center. When all keyframes are set, select them and press F9 on the keyboard. Go to the graph editor and set the curves like mine. This animation turned out like this. It's something like a typewriter animation, but I think it's better. I also play around with the placement of text lawyers on the timeline. Also add motion blur for all lawyers. Trim the composition and there you have it. The third animation turned out absolutely great. I really like it, it's dynamic and very interesting. You can also turn off motion blur, you might add the posterized time effect, but in this version I liked it most. Moving on the third animation. Create a new composition and name it title 4. I will create two words, it's uh, studio snack. This will be two different text lawyers. This time I'll use the basic font, it's called Times Regular. Edit by position and scale. Let's create an animation for the first word. Go to the text lawyer and go to Animate. Add a position, lower to the text about 30, then go to Add uh, at Opacity. Set Opacity to 0. Go to the range selector and set the first keyframe for offset. 
go to the 15th frame and set the offset to 100. Select all keyframes and press F9. Copy the animator and paste it onto the second text layer from the 15th frame. This way we have a sequential animation. Select layers and press P on your keyboard for position. Set keyframes for both text layers. Then go to 2 second and move the right text to the right so it disappears from the frame and do the same on other side so the text leaves to the left select all keyframes press f9 on the keyboard for easy ease and go to the graph editor and move the curve like mine then create a new adjustment layer add an echo effect set echo time to something around minus 0.003 and numbers of echo to 60. Create a new adjustment layer, find the posterize time effect and edit. Set the frame rate to 12. Create another adjustment layer and add the transform effect. Set the first keyframe for scale at the beginning, go to around 2.5 seconds and set the scale to 105. And there you have it. And that's it. We created our first text animation. This project will be available for downloading below this video, so you can simply change the text and everything. Moving on to the last animation. Create a new composition and add the text. Position everything centrally to make it look nice. This will create two layers of the text and the Studio Snack logo. This animation is very dynamic and quite fast, so it won't take much time to create. Select our first text and press P for position. At the first frame, at the 15th frame, where our final animation will be. Go to the beginning and move our text to the right. Select keyframes and press F9 for easy ease on the keyboard. Go to the graph editor and adjust the curve as shown. After 7 frames, trim the text. Add an echo effect from a previous animation to our first text layer. Keep the settings the same uh, for this effect. Uh, for this fragment, I'll change the font to a bolder one. After another 3 frames, trim the text again and switch the font to italic style. Repeat these steps for the second text layer, slightly moving it to the right and adjusting the font as done for the first. Ensure to add an echo effect uh, to the first segment. Now select our logo and move the lower to the right for a sequential animation. Press P for position, set the first keyframe, move the logo to the right, then advise in the timeline to reposition it uh, correctly. Select all keyframes, press F9 on the keyboard and adjust the curve in the graph editor as shown. Copy and apply the echo effect to our logo. Create a new adjustment layer. Look for posterized time effect and edit. Set the frame rate to 12, then create a new adjustment layer. For glow effect, I'm going to use the deep glow effect plugin. Uh, set the radius to 200 and size to 0 0.5. And we created our last text animations. So we've created the 5 different and incredibly useful titles today. Check out this project below this video and also explore our projects on our website for creative overlays, different transitions, unique animations, titles and sound effects. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. See you in the next video. Good luck.